Well, hey, fuckers. Happy Friday. We made it. It's the end of the week. You made it. I made it. We all fucking made it. T-G-I motherfucking F. Right? Now, for those of you that are still my subscribers, I want you to know tonight's live is going to be subscriber only. So come on and get your reading before 7.30 p.m. You must come on the live and claim it so that we have enough time to do them all, okay? 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time this evening. Remember, Central Standard Time, okay? Now, guess what time it is? Hey, Sharon, what's the tea? Let's find out what the fucking tea is for you motherfuckers today on this Friday. Ooh, and we are literally going to find out what is the tea. All right. Tap it in. Tap your energy in now. Now remember, this is a collective. There's no hashtag, so this may not be for you, but it. you might want to fucking pay attention because if it came across your For You page and found you, there's a reason. You hear me? I'll take what resonates, leave what don't. Spirit team, what's the tea for my collective today? On this fucking Friday. Kissing ass, possibly getting flowers. I can buy myself flowers. Write my name in the sand. That's your attitude. Talk to myself for hours. Say things you don't understand. What'd I say? Queen rising. Stepping into your power. Praised. Coming up in the spotlight. What'd I say? I can buy myself flowers. That's your attitude. Somebody trying to kiss your ass today. Ooh, and they're sneaky. Snicker, snicker, snicker. They're going to do it very sneakily. So you might even get flowers today that's from a secret admirer and you won't know who the fuck sent them. Still, you're, you're going to be ignoring whatever this is because your attitude is, I can buy myself flowers, stepping in your queen rising power. Yeah, this person, whoever this is that's going to kiss your ass today, has treated you wrong, okay? Forced their way in before, used force to get what they want, manipulation, whatever the case. And this is why you're queen rising energy, you know, stepping into your power coming up in the spotlight. You're like, I can do this myself, bitch. You're this person, whoever this is, that's forcing their way in, like I said, manipulation. They're literally forcing their way into your life, your privacy. You see how they're creeping, they're spying on you. They're literally basically betraying you, you know, invading your privacy, spying on you. I feel like this person, whoever's spying on you, talks shit on you. And like, they don't have all the facts, they just know what they see. And they kinda, I think they put things together on their own, like a puzzle, you know? Little piece by piece, and then they basically make their own assumptions or conclusions or whatever. And I feel like this person makes shit up, kind of, you know, fills in the blanks with what they think is happening. Yeah, this person, bad reputation. This person has a really, really bad reputation for being sneaky. And, um, yeah. Mm hmm So, this person has a, ha, okay. <clears throat> this card says haunted, right? So, I feel like you're or have been haunted by this situation with this person that's been creeping on you, invading your privacy. I feel like it's caused you a lot of trauma, stress, you know, and simply because you don't feel safe, you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel 
like you're literally being pr in private, you know, like you're afraid somebody's watching all the time. You're always looking over your shoulder. You're always double checking your door locks and your window locks and, and all those things because you're fucking haunted by this. And so this really kind of basically smears your person's reputation into the mud with you because I feel like your person silently basically talks shit on behind your back and creeps up on you and gets information on you and then basically talks shit on you, whether it's true or not, which sucks. This person's fake as fuck. This person's a liar. Very deceptive, very sneaky, and always looking up into your business, like I said, inside scoop. Motherfucker. 555 five, five on the timer right there. Queen rising, baby. I can buy myself flowers. You're moving on. Or you're moving. It could be moving locations, moving on. I think you're moving on. Stepped into your power. I do feel like there might be travel in your future as a result of this moving. Um, <laughs> your light irritates this person's demons because they like to be stealthy. And they don't like you coming into your power and into the spotlight because it smears their reputation. And an offer is coming soon, okay? You get an offer from somebody that ran from this connection, okay? And then, of course, you're threatened by this person. You're intimidated and bothered by this person. It is going to be a dirty offer, so their intentions are going to be ill. And you're pretty much had enough of this. Like... You feel like a winner in this situation, and you're all played out of this bullshit. Like, like I said, you've stepped into your power. You're not entertaining this shit. You don't want nothing to do with this shit. And you got legal issues to handle. Some kind of legal issues to handle today. Having to do with your children. Kids are at risk of being taken. And... From a drama starter. That's holding a grudge. Who's dreaming about you. Fantasizing about you. Missing you. You're moving on. Next. They're in their head. They're stressed out. They're overanalyzing the situation. And you're too busy and winning to worry about it. The message can't be more clear. I love you. Let them grovel. If you would like to book a sesh with me and get more insight to the situation, go to my website, www.loveoracleSharon222.com. Click on Book Online and see the available bookings that are available. Scroll all the way down and you'll see them all. I love you. And don't forget tonight's live. If you're a subscriber, come, come see me.